When we saw the original trailer and they showed off Loki's abilities, everybody thought he was going to be another Echo. But trust me, that is not the case. Loki is giving off Naruto energy and I'm here for it. What up people, my name is Suj and today we're going to be looking at the Loki trailer dropped by Marvel Rivals. Something that's so cool about Loki is that they gave him that Sub-Zero thing where it's like he can quickly create a clone and then leave that area. And from the look of his body here, he looks a bit hollow, which means he's invisible, which means you don't see him leave. You don't see him leave. You just see a clone. And at the same time, I don't even or is there. Let's see if there's any area effect that tells us that, oh, he's just done the thing. Okay, yeah. So, so it's, it's like it's like a one-off. So you don't even know he's gone. I don't even think you know he's gone. You're you're like that's the clone right there. You can't see this green version. I think that makes so much sense as someone who likes to play the sneaky game. Gives me a type of sombra sombra x vibe from Overwatch. Bro, like like. So, she she threw his clone over here. So I'm guessing dude can set, um, what do you call them? Oh my goodness, bro. What the hell do we call them? What do we call them? What do we call them? What do we call them? We call them, I'm going to, I'm going to look it up, chill. It's called a torrent. <laughs> it's called a torrent. Yeah. So basically I'm guessing this is a, this is his torrent clone and I'm, and I'm pretty sure it does damage for it to be shooting. It does damage. That is so cool. Wait, did he swap places with... What just happened? Okay, that's one. Bro, he traded places. He traded places with the clone. That is insane. That is insane. We're talking being able... We're talking being able to make a clone to escape. And then being able to swap places. Being able to swap places with the clone as well. As well as it being a deployable torrent. That... That's a lot of moves. That's actually a lot. That that's cool. Now he's gone. That's that's sick. Now there's two of him on the same. Wow, nice. Yep, and he can become everyone and anyone and use the ultimate. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I feel like. Loki is going to be a high level. He's going to be a high level character. He's not going to be easy to pick up. He's not going to be easy because I can see so many people failing at disengaging and failing at trading places with the. I feel like it's something where if you want, if you want Leonard to use Loki, you're going to have to put in effort in learning the map positioning, rotations. If there's going to be any, you know, stuff of that stuff of that nature. But yes, I I really feel that. I really feel like this is the best thing for us right now. They need to do this for every character. And the closed alpha says um, May 10th. So I'm going to heavily assume that from now till the May 10th, that's 18 days, I believe. That's 18 days. They have 18 characters. I'm seeing one trailer per day. I could be wrong. But I'm, I'm guessing it's one trailer per day for each character. Which I really hope that's the case. Because if, if that's the case... I'm making the video a day. So yeah, if you guys you guys just let me know in the comments what you guys think of Loki so far. Just let me yeah, tell me in the comments what you guys think of Loki so far. Is this does it like someone you guys would main? Or does it look like the kind of person you guys would kill off first when playing the game? Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to make videos on Marvel Rivals. I'm a huge fan of Overwatch and I'm just looking for something fresh but in that same category. And I feel like Marvel Rivals is what's going to give me that next that next-gen feel for arena shooters, especially because it's Marvel. Who doesn't love Marvel? Safe.